none of us went in that hot tub, and I give Christina a lot of credit for staying in there with Jason, with just coming back from pepper picking, and he was probably picking his feet also. That water looks so scummy afterwards, I give her a lot of credit. Uh, all right, man. A little pepper picking in the hot tub. Not exactly the most romantic journey, but it had to do. How you doing tonight? How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How do you feel? I'm just waiting for the outcome. You're nervous too, right? All right. A couple of minutes away. First of all, because I can't help myself, I like to give people a lot of variety. I like them to really have a broad experience that's really rich and deep, and it captures their imagination. This menu is half and half small plates, big plates. So there are 25 small plates for sharing that they can eat a few things, have a glass of wine, have a portino, you know, maybe share a pizza and go, or they can come and have a full dining experience with appetizer, entree pasta, dessert, bottles of wine, so it's, it's got an incredible range, it's really accessible, and uh, it'll give people the opportunity if they don't feel like spending a lot of money, or if they feel like having a full book, exactly. Now you seem like a worldly man to me, I know you've traveled, and uh, you have a restaurant in the, you're from Las Vegas. Uh -huh. Well, from New York City, from New York City. I've been in Las Vegas. Been in Las Vegas now. Right. You could have had your pick of any place to put this restaurant, what made you pick Borgata? You know, uh, it's interesting, I, I spent my entire career in New York City. And I was invited by Steve Wynn to open a restaurant at the Wynn Resort in Las Vegas, which was an extraordinary event. Wynn is, a, is the top of the, the uh, business out there. And uh, when I got a call from uh, Bill Boyd and the people who run this place, I felt the same about Borgata. That Borgata is pretty much the top of what's going on here. It's an exciting place. It's a beautiful place. It's not, you know, near my birth home and my favorite city. So uh, I'm thrilled. I couldn't be more happy. Well, we're very happy to have you Thank here. You. Thank you so much. Anytime. See you soon. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk about ball players who like this kind of a deal. He's going to be working at this brand new Italian 
fine dining restaurant opening up early this summer season right here at the Borgata. And the name is Fornalato. Hi everyone, I am so excited. I am here with Danny Valtry. He is the winner of this season's Hell's Kitchen. How does it feel to win? Uh, it's amazing. It's been uh, such a ride from the beginning till now that I'm just so excited for it to just be all out in the open. Come to fruition every right. time. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from Sarasota, Florida. Okay, and you plan on moving to southern New Jersey? Yes, Do you have any uh, prospects yet of where you want to live? No, I'm uh, just shopping around now, as a matter of fact. So. Did you feel like when you first came on the show that you would be in the finals and that you would be the winner? Did you go in knowing Like, I were? went in thinking I was going to take it, and then once I got there and I met my competition, I got nervous. Mm -hmm. I did. So, in the first couple weeks, I did not... Not to say that I... I thought I was going to lose, right. but I, I knew that I had a tough road ahead of me. Yeah, well, congratulations. That is one of the best honors. And plus, you're right here in our backyard. So we are excited for you, and we can't wait to eat there. We can't Good. wait to see you be successful. So well, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome.